Hello, this is my lesson by lesson plan, starting off on a week and going through every single lesson, looking at what Year 9 has covered. They've done an awful lot with ray diagrams, prisms, reflections, almost everything in a very, very short while. A good way to start is go to the Chrome extension, Ray Optics, a very great one. So here we start off, we're going to start and look at a beam of light. Press the beam up the top here and drag the length of the beam down in the work, black work area here. And rays appear in the direction that the light is going. When you're drawing it, you'll actually put arrows on it. The actual use of lines is from early printing. But nowadays, or the way that you would see it, is a continuous beam of light. You can add a curve mirror. Select two points, make it a reasonably big size, put it behind the, the flat mirror and you make it curved. Now we can move over here, remove the flat mirror and see that the light focuses into a point. With a bit of mucking around we can introduce a point source that's like a filament and actually create familiar searchlight, an old beam of light again with a point and move that point around and make the light disperse or focus right into a point. If you go back to rays rather than the broad light beam you can see all the rays but it's actually quite confusing sometimes especially if there's too many rays to see what's going on you can see a point is focused to another point with the curved mirror. We're changing the curvature of the mirror and seeing that if we make it um, convex, you know, it actually pushes out the light. Doing that once or twice. What I have here is some water and above us some air and some light beam going in. The light travels along and bends downwards into the water towards the normal. We'll have to talk to you about what the normal is. And you can see a small ray reflecting off the surface of the water. So that yellow line represents a single laser beam or direction of light. There's a lot of information to get understood here. If I place a beam in the water and going up into the air, the same thing happens, but um, at a certain angle, all the light gets completely reflected into the water. That's total internal reflection. Now I'm going to fashion myself a lens. So I trace the outline of a lens and inside this outline will be glass. And later on I'll introduce some light into it and see if I can get it to focus down to a point. This is you use a lens to focus sunlight to burn a leaf. Close it up here. And I'll go and get a beam. And hey presto, it focuses. And from now we'll have a little bit of fun with an actual mathematical lens. It's, this one's designed with a straight line. You actually don't draw the shape of lenses. And we'll just have a little play around with it. So in order to know how to do this, we'll have to be taught like, uh, about how to actually draw rays and play around. I'm going to change the focal length of the lens very soon. And set extend and contract. So just have a play and you'll get used to some of the concepts here. <laughs> 